guys. Noble's getting a bit restless, so keep watching because this is bound to be fun. Our favorite no, lifestyle is... life scientist, Rick Crossland, joins yeah. us for a lesson in static electricity. Static electricity. Now, that's, were you the kind of kid that would rub your tennis shoes on the carpet in the library and come up to somebody and zap them? Oh, you know what I did? I rubbed a balloon on my hair oh, yeah. and then tried to stick it to the wall. So that's static electricity. And, you know, we're getting into storm season, so I thought it'd be good to teach a little bit about static electricity because sure. lightning, it was Ben Franklin that came up with the idea that lightning is electricity. Mm -hmm. And he was kind of famous for that. He did a couple things. One thing he brought to us is the positive and negative charges before they called it something else. So if you rub something together, we are, we are filled with electricity. It's how our muscles move. Okay. Uh, there's a little muscle electricity causes it to contract. Right. And so electricity, but he wanted to prove it. Now, if you saw in the 1700s a guy riding a horse you know, holding up a metal rod, chasing a storm. He was probably the first storm chaser. <laughs> we don't uh, advise you to do we that. We don't want now. you to no. do that, right? But you can make static electricity by rubbing things. Like I'm, I got some uh, fur here. This is a golf, a little golf uh, container. It's plastic. Plastic is a good insulator. And so when you rub that, it has a charge now, a negative charges, and, and I can get things to stick to it. And and uh, and so we are always building up charges. And oh, yeah. when I hit this one, there you go. Boom. There you and go. He just showed you repelling. Charges want to get away from each other. Mm -hmm. uh, nature likes to be balanced, positive or negative. So when clouds rub together, they build up negative charges and they have a discharge. I have a little discharge thing right here. Uh, it's a little motor inside, it's rubbing. And most lightning is cloud to cloud. Yeah. Some lightning is cloud to ground. Right. But you don't want to be, you don't want to be the. Uh, the tallest thing. Oh, neat. Now, what I have here, this thing is making negative charges, a small piece of mylar, and so it wants to get away. If you're ever outside and, and your hair starts to stand up, My you're does. in trouble because it could be what Robert Van de Graaff invented. Mm -hmm. He was a famous physicist from MIT. He was born in 1901. So and much this, history. This is yeah, Ben Franklin. Uh, this is a Van de Graaff generator. If you see, it's got a rubber band and rubbing, and watch out. You I can feel it. You can I mean, I can it? feel it back here against the monitor. Because it likes electricity. And if I go like oh. this, I can discharge a small little piece of lightning. And you see it right there? That's. And so as long as that's going, it will turn the lights back on. Oh, and Rick, so, you're like producer Rick. You're magic. You just <laughs> command the lights to it's go on It's electricity. The word electron comes from amber. If you ever rub amber, it will hold a charge. So the Greeks got the name amber for electron electricity. Isn't that fascinating? Yeah, I learned that in a kid's book, an Usborne kid's book. It is amazing <laughs> the things you can learn where like the word amber came from. We're connected. So this is he, Ben Franklin also proved that a piece of metal would attract electrons. Ah. And he invented the lightning rod. The lightning rod. There was a huge storm in Philadelphia. He put the first lightning rod up on Christ Church his, uh, steeple, and it saved it from being struck by lightning. About 30 large buildings were struck, caught fire, yeah. and he invented the lightning rod. Now, if you want to step up on yeah, Robert Van de Graaff's generator, let's do it. this no, is between Mama, okay? 50 and 150,000 volts. Okay. That's a lot. Put your hand on there. Just one, hand, one? one hand, and you can hold this with that hand. There you go. Uh, we'll switch hands. Put that hand oh. on there. And I'm a fast learner. <laughs> so 150,000 volts, but very little current, so you should not get electrocuted. Noble, step back. Here we go. <laughs> Is my oh. hair going to stand on it? Well, let's hold up that little guy and see if it's... Uh, oh, yeah, don't touch to the thing. Oh, yeah, I see your hair. Is it going, you guys? Well, or is it the hairspray that I've used? You want me I'll to toss hair. it to bit? To toss it a bit. Well, oh, there <laughs> you go. Even... And uh, I, I don't think this is a Brazilian hairstyle. Maybe we call this electron hairstyle. This is like a bad hair commercial, right? <laughs> no, it's a good hair. It's a good science commercial. <laughs> so you are now charged. I'm going to turn this off. I feel it. Yeah. I mean, it, it's so cool. It's neat how demonstrative science is and, and how you never forget it. it I'm going to touch you on your finger right here okay. and I'll discharge you and watch your hair. Her hair will go away when I discharge Please you. Please let it go back. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so, Did it go back? I have a feeling it didn't go But it all fell. Yeah. Yeah. All those each hairs get negative charges. They want to get away from each other. 
Oh. Or they want to find a way to jump to something. So when you're outside, you don't want to be the tallest thing around because all that negative charges are looking for a place hey, to strike. So be thankful if you're short. Hang out yeah. with tall people this spring yeah. when all of that electricity is going on in the clouds. Real fast, give us you know a what tip. this is? Dryer sheet. Dryer sheet. Before they invented these, when you took clothes out of the dryer, all that rubbing caused them to stuck together static static electricity. You put a dryer sheet in, it warms up, it puts a nice aromic oil, the oil pulls the static electricity, you don't get shocked. All right, George. <laughs> I, I, I've got to say, Rick's my favorite science guy, learning so many things today, history, science,